What is up everybody, it is Professor Elite here and today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, space scene in After Effects. So the first thing that you want to do is get a new solid, which is a black solid, and then you want to make another black solid, and then you want to add uh, CC Snowfall. And now that you have CC Snowfall, you kind of want to just like, uh, well first I'm going to turn the quality to full and... Uh, stars don't really move like that, so you want to turn, uh, you want to turn the, uh, wind, no, 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 the variation, no, 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 not the variation, the wiggle to zero, and now they're pretty much just gonna fall in a straight line, and stars don't really fall unless you're going at, like, hyper speed through the freaking universe, like Star Wars, so, uh, we're gonna have to turn the speed, to zero and also we're going to turn the size up um by a lot uh let's see i think this is pretty good we're also going to turn the number of flakes down so just drag that down to like i don't know something like this and then uh we're going to add a tint and map the black to white wait wait no 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 that is not what we meant to do um All right, we're going to turn off composite with the original. All right, and then now we're going to add a tint and map, map the black to white. And now we get this. And maybe we can just turn the size down a little bit. And we're going to add a levels effect. And we're going to uh, go turn the grid where it says RGB, go to alpha. And take this slider and just... Drag it all the way down, and then you have yourself some nice, bright, flickering stars. Um, probably going to turn the size down a bit, and probably turn this slider back up just a little bit, and if you were like doing a freaking hyper space just turn the speed all the way up like i don't know five thousand wait no no that's the size uh yeah like that and you can you can actually make a composition that's like uh 1080 by 1920 and then you can like you can flip the whole composition and then depending on the direction that you want to go uh you know just uh freaking do that and you get some freaking star wars stuff um also i'm going to show you how to make an earth here let me reset the stars and turn this down a little bit Uh, so, well, I'm not going to show you how to make an earth, but I'm going to show you how, like, if you do have an earth, a way that you can make it kind of, like, look realistic, like it's actually in the scene. So I'm just going to get my earth here. I don't know why I have two. Uh, so yeah, just get a PNG of the earth, and if you just plop it there, you know, it doesn't really look, uh, too realistic. Like, bro, that probably, you would never believe that that's actually in outer space. So, um, here, I'm actually going to show you one meme that I made uh, that I incorporated this effect in. Let's see if I can find it. Um, right here. This is one video that I made that I use like the star effect in, in the earth. So, oh wait, wrong thing. Um, if you want to make the earth to look like how it did in the video, uh, what you would basically do is you will add a mask to your earth. So like make a kind of a curve to it. Um, so yeah, something like this. Alright. 
and then you're going to add a tint just turn the white to black amount to tint turn that down uh, and then we're going to go to effects tint I uh, go to compositing options turn the plus on and then go to mask mask feather turn the feather up and then it's kind of like it's kind of like uh you know it's it's more it's more believable that this earth is actually in space like yeah so that's pretty much just what i wanted to show you guys today i'm probably going to do more tutorials after christmas because i'll have more time because uh, less editing and stuff but i'll see you guys later appreciate you for watching the video and Beep, beep, boop, boop.